the word tong in Korean means whole. So it means reading the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation in chronological order and with the heart of God. So the whole point of Tong is that we need to appreciate the Bible as 66 separate books while knowing that it's one whole story. So if I could give an example, um, Genesis 22 is about the story of Abraham trying to offer his son Isaac to God on Mount Moriah. And the Tong Bible links this to Jesus' sacrifice on Mount Calvary 2,000 years later to show that it's actually all one story. It connects and it's all Jesus' story because Jesus said that he came to fulfill the laws and the prophets. Now, the laws and the prophets is the Old Testament, which means that we need to know the 39 books and up to John the Baptist to understand Jesus' story. And the rest of the New Testament is about how disciples went out to spread that story. And if we don't know the whole Bible, then it's very difficult to tell a non-Christian what we believe. I think it's really important to first know and then we could go into the believing stage and that's when we can actually tell other people to do the same. Yes, and we have other resources. Um, so we have the uh, Tongdok Bible um, that is going to be published very soon. But we have other resources such as the Tong Bible, which is the books that you bought in buckets, as you said, in boxes, um, that helps uh, to understand the story in 20 chapters, which means that you can study the whole Bible in 20 days. I think that's a really big bargain. Yes. And we also have the Tong Bible Study Guide, which is used for Sunday schools, and that's a 40-week course. We also have the Rise and Fall of the Five Empires with the Bible, which you said you also read before we met you. So that tells about all the, Bi all the empires in the Bible, Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Hellas, and Rome, and how God uses those immense empires as his tool to govern his kingdom. And the fact that the Tong, you can use the Tong Bible method to study anywhere in the Bible and you don't have to feel like you have vertices. You can just dive into the Bible and knowing that you have the full context of the text. I yeah. think that's very important. And yes, I'm very proud of my father who came up with this method. I think he's a genius. I adore him as a father. I respect him as a pastor and I wish to be like him as a Christian. So. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Um, when you said, did you say, is there stuff for children? When you said Sunday school, did you mean the younger ages? Okay, I got that question at the booth over there, and I said that we are all children of God. So it doesn't matter at what age you uh, see these books. Once the mother or the father, or the parent, understands these books, they're very useful to tell the children as stories, as the Bible should have been studied in the first place as stories because they were told orally instead of written down. And I think it's very important for the parent to first read the book and then pass on that story to the child because even in Deuteronomy, Moses told the manna generation to teach them to your children and their days will be long and they will prosper. And I believe that that's what we need today. I know that when we met in Germany and I had a chance to talk to your father, this concept of one story because the Bible, most people look at the Bible like it's a daunting task. Uh, it's not even in order, the books of the Bible. And so to get that one book, I mean, what a hit. When we brought them into Canada, and I gave them to all, we have a group called the Kingdom Builders who work with me as we finance things around the world. They treasured that gift. And so you make sure and tell your dad. That Thank you so much.